Here's a crazy story. After finishing dinner with his family at home in Toronto one night, Andrew goes out to his truck and finds it gone. Luckily for Andrew, he hid two air tags in the truck. In real time, he watched his stolen car make its way to the federal port of Montreal, Canada's top spot for stolen vehicles to be shipped out of the country and sold abroad. He contacted police at the port and was promptly told that local police can't search the shipping containers. Side note, the Canadian Border Service Agency only has five agents to inspect 580,000 containers that leave the federal port of Montreal every year. Now back to Andrew. He then watched his car cross the ocean all the way to Dubai. This is insane. But this is life after eight years of Justin Trudeau. And the worst part is, Andrew isn't alone. The root of um, starting in a rail yard or a containerized lot and then being globally exported to countries in the Middle East, Northern Africa, Europe is, is quite common. It's uh, alarmingly common. After eight years of Justin Trudeau, car thefts are up 300% in Toronto and 100% in Montreal and Ottawa. How did this happen? Justin Trudeau's mismanagement and catch and release criminal justice policies. Yesterday, I talked about how the changes Justin Trudeau made to the criminal code put criminals before car owners. But there's a second reason, and that is Justin Trudeau has let our federal ports spiral out of control. How else can your car from a little neighborhood in Toronto end up overseas? This is crime and chaos. Right now they're making so much money shipping cars overseas that the low risk and the high reward is just uh, too lucrative for organized crime. A report suggests that the federal port of Montreal is checking as little as 1% of what they ship out of our country. So today I'm announcing part two of my common sense plan to stop car theft. A Polyev government will slash bloated bureaucracy and cut back on wasteful contracts at CBSA. CBSA spent $15 million in 2022 alone on consultants. They wasted $54 million on the useless ArriveCan app. Instead of enriching well-connected insiders, we will use those resources to put boots on the ground and hire more frontline workers to man our federal ports. And we will invest in state-of-the-art x-ray equipment to allow for rapid scanning of containers at our federal ports to make sure people like Andrew don't have to watch their car sail away. Justin Trudeau protects criminals instead of protecting your car. I'll do the opposite. Let's hit the brakes on car thieves and bring home safe streets.